Okay. In the first module, we discussed about what is soil and how soil is formed. In this module, we are going to discuss about six different types of soil. First one is alluvial. Second one is black soil. Third one red soil. Fourth one laterite soil. Then desert soil and mountain soil. Okay. First we are going to discuss about alluvial soil. Alluvial soil is formed due to the deposition of silt and sand by the rivers. Okay, brought by the rivers. Then it is very soft and fertile also. It is mainly present or found in coastal regions. Okay, northern coastal regions etc. Then it is also good for growing crops like rice, wheat, vegetables, pulses, oil seeds, etc. Second type of soil we are going to discuss is black soil. It is a, it is formed from lava. What is lava? Do you know what is lava? You, do you heard about volcano? Lava is a hot molten rock that comes from volcano. Then it solidifies. Solidifies means change into or turn into solid. Okay. Then it is mainly found in Gujarat, Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh. It is clay also. It, the water content is more in this soil. Okay. And it is also sticky. It is only good for growing cotton, millets, then oil seeds, wheat, sugar cane, etc. Third type of soil, we are going to discuss about red soil. Okay. Its color is red. Why? Because the presence of iron. Okay. Iron content is there. So, it is red in color. It is very fertile. Okay. Then, uh, it carries, it uh, is good for cultivating pulses, rice, then uh, vegetables, etc. Okay. It is mainly found in the uh, Jharkhand, Uttara, Ut Madhya Pradesh, then Maharashtra, etc. Odisha, etc. The fourth type of soil going to discuss is about laterite soil. It is formed by the process of weathering. What is weathering? That means to wear or to wash away. Okay. It is found in regions where there is lot of rainfall. Okay. Then this would get, this sometimes get washed away. At that time the minerals also washed with the flow of water. That process is known as leaching. Okay, so in this soil, when the farmers are uh, growing crops, they add manures or fertilizers. Clear? This soil is good for cultivating coffee, tea, coconut, etc. And it is mainly found in the regions of Odisha, then Maharashtra, Karnataka, West Bengal, etc. Meghalaya, etc. Next, we are going to discuss about desert soil. You know the peculiarity of desert. Desert is very dry region. The rainfall is very less. Okay. So, mainly this type of soil is found in desert regions of Rajasthan. Okay. So, farmers add fertilizers to improve the fertility of the soil and also provide irrigation. Irrigation means supply of water to the crops. So, they develop crops like wheat, barley, millets, then pulses, cotton, etc. Last one, we are going to discuss about mountain soil. It is mainly found in the slopes of the hills. It is very rich in humus. What is humus? Humus is the uh, decay. Uh, it is the particles formed by the decaying of plant and animal, mod, animal matter. It is very fertile. So, this soil is good for growing crops in hilly areas. So, they cultivate the crops in the steps. That type of farming is known as terrace farming. Okay. Hilly slopes are 
divided into steps. Then they cultivated crops like maize, barley, cotton, spices, etc. Okay. This mountain soil is found in the areas of Uttarakhand, Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, etc. So, in this module, we discussed about six types of the soil and their peculiar special features and where they are found in and types of the crops cultivated in each soil. Thank you.